guys this is Rahil from Cyprusic.com and in this video we will be learning how we can automate package releasing using semantic release CLI for Node.js. So the first thing you gotta do is install the package globally. Once that's done, navigate into your project directory and run semantic release CLI setup. So yes, this is my registry. Add my npm username. the github details so semantic release CLI works with uh, continuous integration software so uh, for this demo I'll use Travis CI because semantic release CLI will set it up for me as well you can um, use other CIs as well say yes Yes, I do want a YAML file. So, and that's done. So, let's just uh, head back to our project and see what the semantic release CLI has done. So, in our package.json, semantic release CLI has changed our version to 0 0.0.0 development. I'll just change this to semantically. So what semantic release CLI does is every time you publish a new version, it changes the version and then runs npm publish. So we don't have to bother about versioning as well. And in the test scripts, since we don't have any tests right now, I'll just make it exit zero. But ideally you should be running test before you publish. Now let's have a look at Travis.yml. So this is the basic configuration. Node modules is cached because we don't need to in install it over and over again you have node.js uh, basically what uh, Travis will do is it will run the packages in these three environments and test it for us okay and that's that so one thing you need to do before you uh, head any further is that Travis CI worked for me because I have a Travis account so if you don't have one, you should, before running the setup, you should just go to TravisCIorg.org and sign up with your GitHub username. Or else semantic release CLI will throw an error for you guys. Okay, so let me just check status. Alright, so now we are ready to publish our packages semantically so what we would just do is git commit so git add git commit so there's a special uh, message convention that semantic release uses so if you have a fix you do fix colon your commit name if you do if you are doing a feature release you do feed in bracket name of your feature and then comment <clears throat> so I'll just put something like semen All right. Okay, so maybe there's a problem with command prompt, so I'll just use git bash. So what I'll do is I'll just git commit. Okay, I just need to git add again. <coughs> Origin. Okay, so once uh, the data is pushed, um you would see the jobs running on your Travis user interface so just let me open it for you guys
So here are the three things. Uh, Travis is running with Node.js, Node.js 6, Node.js 4. And once all our jobs are complete, we should have successfully published our package on NPM as well as released it on Git. Alright, so all our builds have been completed successfully. So now just let me head over to my NPM profile. And there you go. Semantically released version 1.0.0 published just now. We should have also made a GitHub release. So I guess it's open here. Yeah. Let me just refresh this page. And here you go. We have a release. Features added and our comment. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and you know automation is always fun. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.